get some yoga in, fam. Maybe he just pacing. Let me see if he comes back. All right, so I don't think he's going to be leaving anytime soon. So let's just turn this into an Isis Oracle read. We're going to pull one card. And uh, see what messages come from it. The Isis Oracle cards, they have long messages. And that's the reason why I dedicate, you know, a whole video to them. Because I want to read everything. I also got this camera at this angle so I can see what's been going on behind me. <laughs> but, uh, I just want one card though, Spirit. I, I got, with these, you already know. Spirit, you already know the messages on these cards be the most. Okay, so. What I'm going to do is the next time, if more than one come out, I'm, gonna, I'm only going to read the message of the top card. But if the message in that top card, because sometimes the messages say, well, if you pull this card too, then blah, blah, blah. So we only got one. The mother of life, nourishment, the golden grain mother. And it has the on, on it. mother of life such nourishment of the golden grain mother we can sometimes fall into existing in doing rather than truly living we only know that this has happened when suddenly our life seems dry depleted filled with tasks or it feels like we are stuck in a rut or a habit that may have been comfortable, but it's becoming stifling and suppressing. Isis, the mother of life, holds the ability to restore even the most numb, resistant, and difficult circumstances and people back into life. She calls to you now, seeking to bestow gifts of life upon you. Be brave and bold. Open your arms to receive. Isis is known as the sustainer of life. Or our offset. I like to call it offset. Able to restore, nourish, and bring to life what has been cast aside or lost. That which you have considered beyond repair or a lost cause or didn't. There are parts of your life love beloved initiate that are ready to receive more life you will be able to recognize this in any discomfort 
that you are currently experiencing in your life. Discomfort. Hey, squirrely squirrel. I don't have no food today. I don't have nothing for you. You might want a piece of ice. I have some ice. I'm sorry, y'all. This might be the same squirrel that always come, come by here when I'm here. I wish there was a, you know, identifying mark. But anyway, I'm sorry, y'all. Discomfort and unfamiliar, fill you out, unfamiliarity. I think I said that right. Is where life is attempting to break through to you, to reach through the walls that you have, that you may have once created to protect yourself, but that now you need to either climb over, demolish, or at least open up with some doors and windows. The tricky part is that. Most often, we don't consciously realize that we are not living. It is not until we start to live more trustingly that it becomes obvious that we once were hiding ourselves from life. Life is calling you to partake more so of her gifts of experience. This oracle brings encouragement and guidance for you to learn. To learn skills and practices that nourish you and your community. You have the Divine Mother within you. How shall you offer nourishment through her? It might be through cooking, through learning to be more present in your body and taking time to express your feelings or reality. Or it might be through taking a dance or yoga class, spending time in nature or with animals, for example. Have you been thinking of joining a class or group, learning a new hobby or skill? The Oracle of the Mother of Life is confirming that you are on the right track. Hey, Pookie. Come here. That you're on the right track. So keep open to opportunities and further instincts about pursuing these matters. And know that if you're a bit worried that it is a stretch, worried that it is a stretch for you, then it is even more likely that you're on the right track. Stay connected to your heart and give yourself permission to grow. Come here. Oh, it's two of them. Okay. This oracle also brings guidance that new people, places, and things will enrich your life in the near future. And if you have been praying for freshness, inspiration, and more fun, know that your intuitions and urges to reach out and act in new ways are part of how your prayers are being answered now. The Mother of Life oracle also asks for patience. In the same way that there is a growth cycle required before a child can become an adult and tap into the energy of the mother within to nourish him or herself, so too do certain life phases require patience as they mature. As you journey into the new life seeking you, you will need to be patient as you learn and grow. You will eventually become very comfortable with that which is at first distinct, distinctly uncomfortable it just takes time patience not running away and being present with yourself just like the mother of life who never leaves you she's always waiting for your return to her embrace as you open to the new unfoldment of, of experience in your life so here's a ritual with the mother of life it says you may like to light some candles or do this ritual in a softly lit room without strong sunlight or absolute darkness. Oh my God, the squirrel is coming up to my bag. He has never gotten this close. He's sniffing my bag. What's up, my guy? What's up, my guy? You wanna get on camera? Come here. Come here. Come here. All your Gorgeous. Ah, a squirrel has never been this close to me. Come here. I would turn my the camera around, but I'm sure he's gonna probably run away. He just scurried off. He was on my back. I'm honored to have a squirrel touch my back. Uh, it says rest quietly in a space where you will not be disturbed. Preferably sitting or lying with your spine relatively straight and close your eyes or rest them lightly half open. 
with the sense of gazing inward and having soft focus as your eyes slightly as your eyes gaze slightly downward and in front of you visualize or sense that within your heart there is a beautiful golden light that extends until it becomes an endless field of golden grain wafting lightly in the breeze under a clear blue sky the grain is almost ready to harvest and the light seems sun-kissed and golden. There is warmth and a pleasy, pleasant, earthy scent in the air and warmth on your skin that is neither too hot nor too cool. You can sense yourself walking and resting among the golden fields of grain, feeling the bounty, peace, and life. You become aware of a golden woman gazing down at you from the sky. Her dress is the grain, her hands are the winds, gently caressing your face, and hair in her eyes are the sun and the moon. You feel great love. Imagine, in that state of connection with the mother of life, you can breathe in deeply and breathe out and release through your breath any fear, doubt, or attachment, even any of your history that would prevent you from really opening up to live more fully into all parts of your being now. Your body, your sexuality, your spirituality, your creativity, your intuitive and inspirational mind, and so on. Just breathe in and let go as you breathe out. Imagine the gentle breeze of the mother of life sweeping away that which you release and replenishing you with her unconditional love. When you are ready, just open your eyes fully and breathe in and out, being aware of your body and coming completely back into the present moment. You may wish to finish your ritual with the invocation below. I'll call to the Blessed Mother of Life. Give me, gift me with boldness, courage, and love. Help me let go of the past. Help me surrender the ways I have shrunk back from life to protect and hide parts of me that were hard to deal with. Let me know the fullness of life love and acceptance of myself and others. Let me just be with you without pre pretense or hiding. Help me grow joyfully and be myself in the world. I accept your help and unconditional love now. Life flows through me full and unique. Ashe, thank you, mother of life. Thank you, Aset. Thank you, Isis. All right, I did want to do some yoga, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to do yoga today and not be bothered or feel stalked or like people just watching. So I'm going to wrap it on up, head home, get in the shower. OMG. Okay, TMI, but whatever. All right, I love you all, and until next time.